Cost Cutters is your family's full-service salon specializing in cuts, colors, and curls. Visit any one of our professional stylists today and get the look you want for less. Hi, this is Superintendent Rich Dahman with another edition of Making the Grade. We're happy to be here today with a couple of our Winona Senior High School seniors. Uh, we have Connor Sandvik with us today. Welcome, Connor. And Isaac Hicks uh, with us. So thank you both for joining us today. We're going to be uh, learning a little bit about these seniors and some of the things that they've done throughout their uh, Winona Senior High School careers and what's coming next for them. Uh, so I'm going to start just by asking both of you, what are your plans for after high school? What, what is uh, post-secondary going to look like for each of you? So next year I'm going to go to Winona State and I'm going to do computer science there. All right. Um, next year, I plan to go to Minneapolis College and uh, go there for cinema studies. Excellent. Well, congratulations to both of you on your plans, and I hope that that, that, that all goes well. And and uh, next fall, we'll be here before you know it. Yep. You'll be you'll be off on your next adventure. Definitely. Um, can you talk a little bit about how Winona Senior High School and Winona Area Public Schools has helped prepare you for what you're planning to do after high school? Yes. Yeah, so at the high school, we have a group called the Tech Nest. And it's like we do video production and tech support, and that's what I want to do for my career, and that's been able to help me get a lot of experience in that field. Excellent. And Isaac? Uh, actually, very similar to Connor. I, uh, I didn't really know anything about videography and stuff like that, and so attending Technus really helped me um, find what I really want to do and what I really like to do. So, yeah, I really needed Technus to do stuff like that. So. Awesome. So it's, it's skills that you've developed over, over your high school career that are going to help you moving forward and, and a field that you're interested in going into yeah. mm -hmm. for both of you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, what other, in addition to Tech Nest, what other activities have you each been involved in? I also did film for the football team so that players and coaches could review film and get better. So yeah, that was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. I just did Tech Nest, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What, can you talk a little bit about some of the accomplishments that you're proud of throughout your, your high school career? I'm pretty proud of being a part of the Tech Nest. When we started out when I was a freshman, we were just a small group, like three or four kids, and we just did tech support. But throughout the years, we've been able to make it bigger and expand. We have our own desk in the Learning Commons now, and we do a lot more. We have a drone, we have a green screen, we have a 3D printer, and we've been able to grow it much bigger. It's been fun. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thanks, Connor. And Isaac, how about you? Um, I'm definitely very proud of all the uh, video projects that I've been able to get done through um, Technus, stuff like that. Uh, I've had a lot of really awesome stuff that I've been able to do through Technus. Um, and yeah, just bunches of, bunches, yeah, bunches of projects that I've been able to do, so. Excellent, and I know, uh, Connor, you mentioned the drone uh, that you work with. I know that was part of a, a donation from the uh, Foundation for Winona Area Public yeah. Schools. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you share a little bit more about how you utilize the drone? We usually use it for making videos. It uh, has a really nice camera. We can fly it anywhere and it's really stable and you can get some great shots with a drone that you can't get with any other camera. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what, are, uh, what are some of the things that you'll remember most about your time uh, at Winona Senior High School? I'll just remember being part of the tech nest and helping teachers and all the Students, yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right, and Isaac, anything that you want to Pretty add to that? similar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Technus definitely helps out with pretty much everything. So school. I'm getting a sense that you're both very proud of your work with, absolutely. with the Technus. Absolutely. Yeah, that's something that, that's been great. It is a, an outstanding opportunity for, for our students. Um, can you share a little bit about a class that you've taken or a teacher or a memory that you have that, that's uh, played a key role in, in your high school career? Yeah, my favorite teacher is Mrs. Burgess and I had her for three classes. And when I first came to the high school, I didn't really like English that much, but she made me really like English. And a lot of things I've learned from her I've been able to apply in my other classes. I did PSEO this year at Winona State and I've been able to do very well in those classes because of the stuff I've learned from her. All right, excellent. Right on. Um, I had an American government teacher, uh, Miss File Sticker. She was really, really like funny. Um, we watched a movie in that class, and I think it was about like 
some political thing that happened with um, like around the time Barack Obama was first going to be president and stuff like that and it has Sarah Palin and I really hated Sarah Palin and so I would always like um, like cringe and stuff like that and so every time she shows that movie she always talks about me and it's just it's just really neat to have that type of uh, relationship with the teacher you know so uh, we have a lot of outstanding staff members uh, at Winona Senior High School, they do a great job, uh, and not just at the high school, but at the middle school and at mm -hmm. our elementary schools, too. They really do an outstanding job of helping shape our students as they're coming through our system, give them the skills and, and uh, attributes that they're going to need to be successful. So I, I appreciate you highlighting a couple of our teachers who have done an outstanding job uh, working with you. Um, let's talk a little bit about what comes next for the two of you. I know we have a few weeks of school left, but not a lot of time uh, left here uh, in your senior year. And then graduation on June 7th, and then uh, a summer before you, you start school. But uh, both of you talked a little bit about where you're going to be going to school, what to college, or after, after high school. What a what is five years from now going to look like? What, what do you want your life to be after, after you finish up at Winona State or at, 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 you had said, the University of Minnesota? Minneapolis College. Minneapolis College, excuse me. Yeah, I plan on graduating Winona State in two or three years in computer science, and hopefully I'll have a career in IT or computers or something. I'm not really sure yet. Mm -hmm. And, and the ability to graduate in two or three years, is that because of the PSEO, PSEO credits yeah, I got that you picked up? a whole year and a half in. One and a half years of college credit Dang. finished already. Well, congratulations. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, Isaac, how about you five years from now? Five years, well, I guess by then I would have finished up college in about two, just because it's an associate's degree. Um, and then I would probably be pursuing uh, my video production career in different companies and stuff like that. So. Excellent. What would, can, can both of you share a little bit, and maybe we'll mix it up and make, not make Connor go first every time. We'll let, it, we'll let <laughs> Isaac go first uh, for a few questions here. Uh, what would be something that someone would be surprised to learn about you, something that, that most people don't know about you? Um, I mean, I get, I'm from Alaska, and usually that makes people assume I rode polar bears and stuff like that to school and stuff. Usually I actually play with that because it's just so ridiculous, but... It doesn't seem safe to No, me. no kidding, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, from Alaska. All right, how long of your life did you live in Alaska? I lived there uh, nine years, something like that. And you've been here in the Winona area since then? Uh, pretty much, I moved there, I moved here my junior year, so I'm pretty new to a bunch of stuff. All yeah. right. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yep. Connor? I'm an uncle, and I have two nephews and a niece. All right. Well, congratulations on that, yeah, too. Awesome. Do they live here in the area? No, they don't. They visit sometimes. They're pretty fun. Okay. Awesome. Um, what event did you or, or are you most looking forward to uh, throughout this year, whether it's something that happened earlier in the year or something that's still coming up? What's something that, that has been a highlight or will be a highlight of your senior year? And we'll, we'll put Isaac on the spot. Uh, other first. than graduation, um, definitely, uh, shoot, remember that, that, that video we did? The foundation video? Yeah, we did, we did a foundation video, but um, I guess the different types of videos we do for different companies that come around, not necessarily companies, but different school related uh, people that come and ask us for it. Definitely something I look forward to because I love getting my hands on uh, projects and stuff like that. So I get pretty excited about that stuff. All right, how about you, Connor? Yeah, I was really excited about doing PSCO this year at Winona State. I was kind of nervous at first being just a little high school kid in a big university full time, but I was really surprised. I liked it a lot. It was really fun for me. Excellent. Did those uh, events live up to the expectations that you had? Yeah, I like doing PSEO yeah, a lot. So the PSEO you said was a, was it went well. Yeah, and you're happy well. with it. Yeah. Excellent. And Isaac, how about you? Proud of my work. That's all I can say. So. All right. Excellent. What I know that there are some some traditions at Winona Senior High School. Can you highlight a, a tradition or a couple traditions that that uh, you've enjoyed during the course of the year or that you're most proud of? Hmm. Graduation. I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah. Yeah, I like the send-offs, uh, the whole school and the band all celebrating a team making it to state or wherever they're going. I think that's really cool to see. 
Yeah, those are those are a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a great area for that at the high school, yeah. um, right in front of the the windows there, and it's a beautiful view, and it's a great opportunity to both highlight the the students and the teams and the groups that are going to this to participate in state, whether it's a sports team or FFA, or mm -hmm. uh, and, and our music department always does a great job with those too. So yeah. that is always yeah, a okay. lot. Of, that is always a lot of fun. Yeah. Anything else that, that either of you want to share or, or highlight? Or uh, Isaac, you mentioned graduation coming up on, on June 7th. Um, what are you looking forward to with graduation? Share a little bit about that. Uh, it's, it's the end of the school year. It's the end of my high school. Um, the time that I've been in high school, it's the end of that. Uh, really nervous about it, but also really looking forward to moving on and doing new things and you know actually starting like a career and stuff like that so it's just a really exciting time to uh, to go you know so yeah it's gonna be kind of sad to leave the high school but I think I'm ready to move on to bigger and better things yeah mm -hmm. the graduation can be somewhat bittersweet for students you've spent uh, uh, all this time with with a group of people um, friends and classmates and for some of those it may be the last time that you see them for others they'll be lifelong friends but it also mm -hmm. is an opportunity for you to feel good about your accomplishments and and prepare for and then move on to that next stage of life so uh, graduation uh, commencement ceremony is on Friday June 7th we're hoping for good weather if, if weather is good we'll be outside at Paul Geo Field uh, the backup plan is at Winona State if, if the weather isn't good, but uh, we're looking forward to that. And congratulations to both of you uh, on, on your high school careers and, uh, and your upcoming graduation. Yeah, thank and, you. Thank you. And I want to also thank you both for coming in uh, here for making the grade. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Elevate your HBC TV experience with the latest technology to hit your whole home entertainment system. Record up to six programs simultaneously and save up to 350 hours of your favorite shows. Pause a program you're watching in one room and pick right up where you left off in another. Video on demand, wireless set-top boxes and mobile device streaming, apps including Alexa, Netflix, YouTube, and more. Call 888-474-9995 to learn more or visit hbci.com forward slash elevate today. What's a Southern girl? It's waking up before the sun rises. It's loving the simple things in life like the dirt roads that lead you home. It's working hard to get what you want. It's hanging your own stands, breaking your own ground, and strategizing every little move for that one moment when everything you've worked for is standing right in front of you. Even if I fail a million times, I keep pushing myself till I'm exhausted, filthy, and about to give up. And that's when the adrenaline hits. Be sure to check out US Golf TV where you are going to see golf products that you have never seen before. You're also going to see golf tips from some of the leading instructors around the country that are truly changing the way people are teaching the game and challenging the status quo. Also, you're going to see fitness tips that are revolutionizing the way PGA Tour pros are training their body and swinging the golf club. If you want something different, if you're looking for some new information, US Golf TV has it. Be sure to check your local listings. US Golf TV, we've got you covered. Wondering where you can go to find great old movies? Well, look no further than HBC TV 25. Each week, TV 25 presents the HBC movie, and we won't monkey around. We'll show you movies like Night of the Living Dead, Giant Gila Monster, The Fat Spy, His Girl Friday, and others. Join us mornings at 12.30 a.m., and for those of you with better sleeping habits, Saturday afternoon at 2 on HBC TV 25 for the HBC movie. Don't miss out on highlights and score updates from your favorite local college and high school athletics by following HBC TV 25 Sports. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to get up-to-date information on all the games covered by the HBC Sports team. Grab your smartphone and add us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at HBC TV 25 Sports. Costcutters is your family's full-service salon specializing in cuts, colors, and curls. Visit any one of our professional stylists today and get the look you want for less. Hi, this is Rich Diamond, superintendent with Winona Area Public Schools, back with another edition of Making the Grade. We have with us today a couple seniors from Winona Senior High School, Julian Fernandez-Peterson and Lucy Wilford. Thank you both for joining us today. 
Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want to share a little bit about uh, about yourselves before we look at some questions about how things are going in your senior year? Oh, I'm 18. I just turned 18 a week ago. Well, happy I'm birthday. pretty excited about that. Yeah. I'm, I'm also 18. Um, I was born in Massachusetts, but I live here now. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to Making the Grade, and thank you both for being here. Maybe we can start by having you both share a little bit about what your future and post-secondary plans, what's coming up after high school for each of you. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to the University of Minnesota for uh, in the Twin Cities for political science mainly. That's what I'm most excited about next year. Excellent. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to be in Chicago, I'm Loyola University of Chicago, and I'm going for forensic science. Yeah. Mm. Sounds like you both have some great things uh, coming up for you. Uh, can you share a little bit about what uh, Winona Area Public Schools and Winona Senior High School has done to help prepare you for uh, what's coming up after high school? Well, I definitely, when I started going to the high school, I wasn't exactly sure of what I wanted to go for or what to do. Um, I think a lot of the classes and a lot of the teachers at the high school have kind of guided me towards like the thing that I like doing most. Mm -hmm. And so it's definitely been like that facilitation of being able to find something that I like doing. Awesome. Yeah, and as I was growing up, I was always, I was told that the career I chose shouldn't be something that you love, it should only be something you enjoy. Because if you love it and you use it as your career, you might end up not liking it. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to choose something that I was good at, but wasn't particularly thrilled about so I could tolerate it but I didn't right. have to ruin the things that I love for okay. uh, for money so uh -oh. yeah that's excellent um, I know that you both are involved in some activities both in school and outside of school can you share a little bit about some of your favorite activities um, yeah so I'm I'm on tennis and uh, and skiing and those I mainly do for fun but I feel like the activities that I've enjoyed most are uh, student council and NHS and then psych team, so like basically being able to give insight and kind of make some decisions and then also with NHS giving back to the community. So those are the big things for sure. Excellent. And Lucy? And um, I'm not very involved in the school, unfortunately. I'm only in NHS, but I am a board member. So it's been a kind of amazing experience just getting involved with the community and like Julian said, giving back and being able to see different Know, little niches of the community that I don't get to see in my daily life. Uh, what would be some examples of some things that, with both of you in NHS, some activities that you've been involved in in NHS? Um, frequently there are church breakfasts every Sunday morning. Um, those are pretty fun because the people who run those have been doing them for years and years and you know they know what they're doing so it's, it's like a well-oiled machine. It's kind of fun to just step into. And this year I've mainly done like odd jobs that they've needed help with like for example I went up to uh, Camp Winona and helped with like the ropes course when they were doing the amazing race so it's like like an organization or a person will give some kind of job that needs to be done and we'll just show up and help there. Excellent well the National Honor Society is a great organization and congratulations yeah. to both of you for being uh, a part of that organization. Can you share a little bit about your proudest moment uh, throughout your school career? I think just like surviving through the English courses that we've had because we've had some very challenging teachers that I've grown a lot of respect for over the years and just like being able to impress myself with what I've done and kind of meet their demands and continue on with that is definitely something that I've been most proud of on top of just like kind of figuring out what I want to do. and what I'm all about, basically. Excellent. And Lucy, anything to add to that? Um, for me, I mean, yeah, it's the English program, too, but it's also learning to accept that maybe I'm not great at everything. So going into high school, I had really high standards for myself, and when I couldn't maintain them, it was hard for me to understand that it's just, that's how it's going to be. I mean, it's going to be a challenge, and you're going to have to work for it. But learning to accept that 
I'm not perfect was, I mean, I'm proud of that, yeah. Yeah, you should be, both of you should be proud of the, those things and, mm -hmm. and sometimes fighting through adversity and developing those skills to handle things that you're not great at are, are really great life lessons. So mm -hmm. congratulations to both of you on that. Um, what will you remember most about, about your time at, at uh, Winona Senior High School? I think definitely the friends. Like, I feel like, you know, I love my teachers and the classes I've had are like ir irreplaceable experiences, but I don't think I'd be the person I am without the people that I'm closest to. So I think I'll definitely remember my friends the most. I agree with that. I think the people that I met in the high school are the definitely the people I'm going to remember the most and experiences as well because you make friends at school and they carry over to your personal life and it's important to have the stability in between the two sectors, yeah. Uh, definitely. Can you each share a little bit about um, a favorite memory or a, with a staff member or a class? What would be a favorite, uh, a favorite class, a favorite teacher that you've had at some point during your, your schooling? Um, one of my favorite memories is, let's see, at the end of last year when we were juniors, after we took the AP World test, um, Mrs. Dixon, who teaches AP World, let us play cricket. Oh. You know, which was a very fun memory because we were all just, we were super wild about the test and yeah. we were almost done with school and it was a good way to expend some of our energy. Excellent. Yeah. That's definitely one of them. Um, I also remember distinctly being done with like a 25 paragraph essay during freshman year and uh, Miss Pearson had some leftover cake and like I was so tired because I'd stayed up until like 6 a.m. Um, and then I ate that cake like and it was the last day of school it was my last hour and I walked out and I knew that my first year was done and it was the best thing like that's probably it. Yeah, those mm -hmm. are excellent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, for both of you, where, where would you like to be and where do you think you'll be five years from now? What will your lives look like? We'll probably be still in school. <laughs> um, hopefully, Sadly, yeah. hopefully starting law school, I think, is mm -hmm. where I want to be in five years. That's your long range plan? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I plan on using forensic science as a gateway to pathology. So for me, it'll be medical school. Uh, Hopefully, yeah. So beyond the, the four-year degree, both mm -hmm. of you are planning to extend your education. Well, congratulations yeah. on that, too. What would be something that people would be surprised to learn uh, about both of you, something that maybe not very many people know? Oh, I don't know. I really enjoy reading the classics from Barnes & Noble. How many people know that about me? All right. And Jillian, do you have something? Man, I don't know if there's something that a lot of people don't know about me, but I guess when I meet new people, they're always like surprised to find out that I, I'm like, I'm trilingual and they don't, I mean, I try not to talk <laughs> yeah. about it too much, but mm -hmm. it comes up sometimes. So what languages? Um, I can speak uh, English, Spanish, and German. All right. Well, congratulations to both of you. <laughs> and, uh, a year ago, you were finishing up your junior year, and I would imagine looking forward to your senior year. What was something this year that you were looking forward to, and did it live up to its expectations? Um, last year, I distinctly remember kind of being awestruck by the seniors because they held so much authority. I thought that just the, the top of the food chain or the hierarchy, per se, but... I don't really know if that lived up to its expectations because I think the one thing I wasn't anticipating was I stopped really caring about that kind of social structure as much. So that, that's, that's mainly what I okay. that's perceived. Interesting yeah. That, yeah, that as you're coming through high school, you think that of the seniors and when you're in those shoes, it might not be the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Julian? I think just, you know, having that sense of completion is what I was looking most forward to because at the end of junior year you've done so much but you're not done yet and you still have a whole year and that mm -hmm. year can be long but I mean this has been the shortest year so far. It's been so short and we have what two days left two after days today? Left. And, and I feel done. Yeah. Like everything <laughs> I have is done and mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here like oh. 
Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and speaking of the end of the year, we have graduation coming up on June 7th. Uh, yeah. Share a little bit about your thoughts on graduation and what does that mean to you? I'm excited. I, I, it's like, you know, I'm not big into like large ceremonies, but this is one that I've been, you know, waiting for for all of my like public school education. And, you know, it's just weird to feel like you're done. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. It's really weird, but it's also it's kind of thrilling because you can do so much with a high school diploma, quite frankly. Like if you don't have your high school diploma, it's really hard to get places. And having that and knowing that you can fall back on that if you like make a mistake in your college career at some point, yeah. then it's it's kind of it's refreshing and it's nice to know that we're done. Yeah. Excellent. As you've gone through uh, four years of high school, has there been any school traditions that you've enjoyed or, or that you want to share? The football games? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what did you like about the football games? I don't know. Games? I only recently started attending them last year. And prior to that, I didn't really experience that kind of thrill of sitting with the band. And it's just so much fun because people are involved. And it's, that's a tradition I've enjoyed. Really, I have. Yeah, those Friday nights mm -hmm. in, at Paul Giel Field are a lot of fun, and, yeah. and I'm glad that you mentioned the band because the the people out on the field are working hard, and, and but but so are the the band and, mm -hmm. and all the support uh, people, and it really is a fun atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Julian, any school traditions that you uh, remember or, or want to highlight? I think Lucy pegged it. I think that's the big one, but I also think like the small like traditions that maybe don't belong to the entire school, but the ones that I've built with individual people over the course of four years, like little inside jokes and all of that. And I think that's definitely the main takeaway for me. Yeah, those are definitely things that you'll be remembering for the rest of your lives mm -hmm. and, and some of those friendships that you've made. So I want to thank you both for joining us on Making the Grade today and congratulate you on your high school thank careers and, and also wish you the best on everything that you have going forward. So Julian and Lucy, thank you both for being here. Thank thanks you. Thanks for having yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Cost Cutters is your family's full-service salon specializing in cuts, colors, and curls. Visit any one of our professional stylists today and get the look you want for less. Be sure to check out U.S. Golf TV where you are going to see golf products that you have never seen before. You're also going to see golf tips from some of the leading instructors around the country that are truly changing the way people are teaching the game and challenging the status quo. Also, you're going to see fitness tips that are revolutionizing the way PGA Tour pros are training their body and swinging the golf club. If you want something different, if you're looking for some new information, U.S. Golf TV has it. Be sure to check your local listings. U.S. Golf TV, we've got you covered. Wondering where you can go to find great old movies? Well, look no further than HBC TV 25. Each week, TV 25 presents the HBC movie, and we won't monkey around. We'll show you movies like Night of the Living Dead, Giant Gila Monster, The Fat Spy, His Girl Friday, and others. Join us mornings at 12.30 a.m., and for those of you with better sleeping habits, Saturday afternoon at 2 on HBC TV 25 for the HBC movie. Today's households are using more connected devices than ever before. TVs are streaming, smartphones are browsing, security cameras are watching, and virtual assistants are, well, assisting. You'll need an umbrella today. As you add more devices, we are constantly improving our technology to deliver the fastest and most reliable internet to your home. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get blazing fast speeds up to one gig from HBC. Call 888-474-9995 today. Follow the national circuit of the Pro Watercross Tour each week on Pro Watercross. It's not your average day at the beach. Featuring the best professional and amateur power sport athletes from around the world competing on the most beautiful beaches and venues in the USA on some of the most challenging and technical race courses in the world. Check out the high speed thrills of Pro Watercross on HBC TV 25. What's a Southern girl? It's waking up before the sun rises. It's loving the simple things in life like the dirt roads that lead you home. It's working hard to get what you want. It's hanging your own stands, breaking your own ground, and strategizing every little move for that one moment when everything you've worked for is standing right in front of you. Even if I fail a million times, I keep pushing myself till I'm exhausted, filthy, 
and about to give up. And that's when the adrenaline hits. 